Hey guys, we're gonna look at the serve a little differently today in terms of hinges. So like a hinge on a door where it swings open, that, that's the, called a hinge, where the door is open, uh, able to slide open. So basically, I'm a, I, can saw, I can say hinge, I can say joint. But uh, hinge is kind of like, I like to use that because we're related, we know that we've seen that. But anyways, joint is the same thing. So we have joints in our arm related to serving, right? We have our wrist where we can move and I can pivot from there. I can pivot here at the elbow and I also can pivot at the shoulder. So these three pivots all have to work together when you serve. And that's super hard because a lot of people don't activate all of them or only one of them. So what I mean by that is if your arm is stiff, you're only gonna be using this pivot here. So if you're only using this pivot, you're not going to get a lot of power. You gotta think of your arm as a whip and these need to be bent and relaxed. And then if I'm loose and relaxed, they should straighten out at the same time. And that's how punchers, how a boxer can punch really hard. They're gonna unload and release all that tension with those, with those joints, with those hinges, okay? So the idea is we need to unload that in our arm when we, when we strike the ball. So when we strike the ball, our arm should be straight, right? Straight like this. But that, but before that, you need to have a bent. Uh, you need this arm needs to be this this joint needs to be bent. This joint needs to be bent, and so does this one. So how do you get that all to work together? Well, you need to be aware of it. I think the first thing is watch um, someone like Ronich or Kyrgios. They have their wrist wrist like this when they're about to serve. So they're initiating this relax motion right away. So this is really important to get a lot of rack ahead speed is just realizing that your wrist does a lot of the work for serving. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep everything straight, okay? But I'm gonna use just this hinge right here. And you can see that I can hit the ball pretty hard with just my wrist, all right? So the idea then is you gotta be able to use the hinge there. Now this one, this elbow hinge is also important because it's the extension. You wanna be able to extend with that. So a lot of players don't do that and they just push. This is a pushing motion and this arm doesn't bend. So you lose a ton of power not doing that. So again, I'm gonna put my elbow up here and you're gonna see that my elbow goes above my head and that's me reaching, all right? So watch my elbow and it's a reach. I didn't use my hinge here, I just used this one here. So the idea is I'm trying to get my, my elbow above my head or above my eyes at least so that I'm reaching. So that's super important on that part. This one is kind of a natural motion where everyone has to use it, but a lot of us do not go all the way through. We need to make sure that our hinge here is a fluid motion and it goes all the way through for that to work. But when you do them all together, that's when you have a good serve, right? So what I mean by that is when I take this racket back and have a bent arm here, I'm looking to make sure that I'm going to bring my wrist back, bent, my elbow bent, and at the same time I strike the ball, my arm and my wrist is gonna be straight. And when I do that, I release the tension and let it just fly through. So I'm not gonna freeze on contact because when I freeze, it's a sudden stop. And when you have a sudden stop, it can really hurt your joints. So you just wanna let it flow through, okay? So watch again, bent wrist, bent um, elbow, and all I'm gonna do is straighten them out, and then notice I went all the way through and let my arm kind of relax over. So I'm kind of letting my wrist and my arm try to finish on a relaxed motion, a relaxed stop, I should say. So the racket should just naturally stop, not you making it stop. And then the other part would just finish going all the way around. Yes, you need to go to the right when I'm serving. I'm going to my right, but when I finish, I want the racket to naturally come over to my side, my left side. So again, I'm going to go over here, bent arm, relax all the way out, and then over to my side, and it feels really relaxed. But the idea then is your arm will become lively if you just unhinge or like get this loose, the wrist loose and your elbow loose and let it straighten out like a whip, you're gonna be a much better shape, okay? So give it a shot. Hopefully that adds some miles per hour to your serve. Good luck.